Hey, I'm Elliot Moss and I'm from Mamaroneck, New York. Either a colorist, which I absolutely adore doing, anytime I get to do any video color work, I'm, I'm like over the moon, or a machinist, which is another thing that I'm very into. I have a few machinist friends and uh, there are parts of our rig that are like custom ironworks and like, you know, knurled stainless steel parts just because it's sort of a fun way to go on a little vacation and become a machinist for a week, but actually have it be something that is contributing toward what I should be doing. So I don't feel like I'm wasting time. I don't know, someone like Fortet could be really cool because his approach is so different. Sort of manning the instruments while he manned the arrangement and the Ableton could be kind of like a cool collaboration. So I feel like I'm probably not a very useful bandmate because I didn't grow up playing in bands that were any good. So I wouldn't want to uh, jump into a band that I really admire and say like, hey, let's make some music because I don't think I'd really bring much to the table. I think just being passionate about something is really, it, it, is inspiring, which sounds silly, but it's like the, the, the things that give me the most energy and have me the most excited to wake up in the morning and get to work are a piece of gear that I've been building with a friend of mine that, you know, every time I use it, I think of, you know, all this fun we had making it or like a library of sounds that is just waiting to be used and turned into music. Um, so when there's this potential there and I can kind of like capture that lightning in a bottle, that, that's that's the most inspiring thing to me. It's like when, there, when I feel like there's work that can be done so easily because something is ready to be worked on. Best moment, or one of our best moments, I think was probably Eau Claire Festival. And, um, that was the first time when like a real number of people in the crowd knew the tunes and it was this surreal moment where I could barely hear myself over them. Mexico was like that too. And I mean, th those are always these like really humbling experiences because you, it, I mean, again, with the internet, I mean, it feels like it could be nobody really listening. It's just a number. And then you're suddenly in this room with these people who appreciate this thing you made, and it's, it's yeah, that's really beautiful. My Desert Island album would probably be Chaos and Creation in My Backyard, Paul McCartney. Um, that's the one that Nigel Godrick produced, and uh, every single song on that record makes me both so excited to get to work on work on music and want to quit music at the same time because it's so good. I think the people around me have always been the biggest motivator. We're all always so excited to get back out on the road and um, have new experiences and play new venues we've never played. Um, so anytime I'm sort of in my anechoic chamber of a studio making music and trying to finish things that are being really sticky and frustrating, I just think about where I'm going to be in three months and uh, it sort of helps get through that rut. I mean, a few different people have said just to not take things quite so seriously. Because I mean, I think particularly when I was younger, music was like the, the like the, the big activity that I went to go do, and like if I didn't have a productive day, it was a failure of a day. And just learning to take everything a little bit less seriously and, and um, just be happy to be doing it. I, I think I've been that, that yields so much better sounding stuff and more honest stuff because when you're Worrying too much about being honest, you're not really that honest because, you know, the thing you're creating is like a, a caricature of how you're feeling. And so just like letting things leak out, I think, is the way that it's really helped me get stronger as a songwriter. I don't know. I mean, a lot of people say to me that it's kind of like music that they can close their eyes to and just take themselves out of like a subway ride or like a, like a bad day that they're having. And I mean, if that can continue to happen, I think it's beautiful. Um, I have records like that too, that you know, if I'm having a particularly bad day, can just zone out for 45 minutes to like Black Star and then come back feeling a little bit better. Hey, I'm Elliot Moss and thank you Balcony for having me for this session today. Uh, you can hear my new album, The Change in Diet, out now on Grand Jury. <laughs>